Tell me, do your visitors look like this when they land on your website? Do they look all confused because they don't understand your language? Well, if this is the case, you're most likely losing a ton of money. Now, what if you could translate your website into 85 plus different languages without having to hire any translator? Now imagine a company based in Germany with a website only in German. Now in this case, they can only sell to Germany, Austria and parts of Switzerland and Belgium. Now imagine if the same website could be translated in French, Dutch, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, Czech, Polish and English. As you can see, now they have a much bigger target audience they can sell to. And this is exactly what we are going to cover today. So I'm going to show you one of the best solutions out there to transform your website into a multilingual platform so that you can reach out to a wider audience and generate a ton of money. Okay, so let me show you. And there it is, guys. You can see it's called Linguiz. So you can translate your website into over 85 different languages with unlimited and then instant translations. And obviously, as a result, as you can see, you can get up to 40% increase in traffic from Google, Beidou, Yandex, and all these different search engines that obviously work in different languages as well. Now, the amazing thing with Linguiz, it's also compatible with different platforms like WordPress, Shopify, Squarespace, Webflow, Wix, and so many others. Let me show you here. So basically, you have all these different platforms, obviously WooCommerce, Squarespace, Shopify, Webflow, but also pure JavaScript and PHP. If you're using PrestaShop, it's compatible with it as well. Drupal, uh, Joomla, BigCommerce, Adobe Commerce, Craft CMS, OpenCart. Look at the list, like guys, you know. So it's compatible with a lot of different platforms, obviously, as well. So for this, we have a demo website here. So what is more suitable than a travel and tour website? Obviously, people booking these types of destinations would be coming from a foreign land and obviously speaking a different language. So let's have a look here, maybe at destinations. And let's say we're going to go to Germany. So obviously people going to Germany would be coming from outside Germany, so they wouldn't speak German. So it would be great to be able to translate the website in their own language. So this is what we're going to do, okay? So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard and let me show you how easily you can install Linguiz on your WordPress installation. So for this, as always, we go to our plugins and then add new plugin. And here in the search box, type Linguiz. Just like that. And now all we have to do is to install it and then activate. Good, as you can see, the plugin is now activated. So it is right here, as you can see, Linguiz. And now by the side, you should see this tab. So if you click on this, now we can set things up, okay? So the first thing is to add our API key. So for this, we need to register an account with them. All you have to do is click on this link. It will open up a new tab, enter your detail, and then submit. Very good. So from here, the first step is to add our website URL. So if we go back here, it's right there in bold letters. So copy this, control C and paste it here. Control V. OK, we need to select the type of platform that we have. So it's on WordPress and then select our base language, which is English. OK, so let's scroll down. Let's select English. And now which translation languages do you want to use? As you can see by default, you have Chinese, Spanish, French, German, and Russian. So let's say if you don't need Chinese, for instance, your target audience is not in China, maybe you don't have Russian, but you want to add another two. So I have Spanish, French, German, maybe you want to add Italian and Portuguese. Okay, all you have to do is click on this and let's scroll down. So we're going to add Italian together. So Italian, there you go. And now we set also Portuguese. Okay, so let's keep scrolling down. LMNOP, Portuguese, there you go. So it is advised not to add too many of obviously. So maybe five or six languages all together. And then we have the option to translate the URL. So here, as you can see, an option between yes or no. So what's the difference? So let me show you from the front end. So if you go back to our website here, as you can see in the address bar, it says learnwithmrweb.com forward slash country forward slash Germany. Now, if you were to translate this, it would say learnwithmrweb.com forward slash and then the translated word in the other language and the same for Germany. So obviously with WordPress, this is going to cause an issue. It will not find the URL. So in that case, we're going to select no. OK, and then move on to the next step. And then from here, scroll down the page and you will find your API key. So copy this to the clipboard. And now we go back to our WordPress dashboard, insert it here, control V, paste and apply. And as you can see, this is activated now and all the information has been imported automatically as you can see all the different languages. And now we can put that to the test. So let's go back to our website. And as you can see, we have this small icon here. So the flag and the language next to it. So let's go again back to the German section here. 
and let's open any of those ads okay so this one is called wonderful germany so let's click on this one and obviously as you can see the website is in english at the moment so let's see if we can translate that into another language so let's go back here let's click on this and let's select one of those languages so let's say italian for instance and there you go guys as you can see the whole content has now been translated into italian so we have the menu section here on top we have our breadcrumbs here the content and all the description here everything has been translated into italian so let's try another language so let's go maybe for french this time and look at this guys now everything is in french how amazing is this plugin how amazing is this solution so we went from english to italian to french in in just three clicks how amazing is that so now let me show you how you can customize this section here so at the moment we have rounded shape flag with the name of the language next to it but obviously this is fully customizable as well so if you go back to our wordpress dashboard here you have the language list display so as you can see you can have it side by side as a drop down or as a pop-up so at the moment is a pop-up so if you click on it as you can see this is a pop-up window so this is really up to you the way you want to customize it obviously you know so let's select another one as an example side by side okay let's scroll down and let's save the settings let's go back here refresh our page and there you go guys you can see now we have those languages here being displayed next to each other side by side exactly as it says here so again this is just a matter of preferences this is really up to you i think the pop-up one is very nice regardless you know and then you can decide wherever you want to position it on your screen so top left top right bottom left bottom right again this is really up to you and then here we have three toggle switches so do you want to display the flag do you want to display the language name and also the short name so it will just display en for english es for spanish and so on and so on okay so that's really up to you uh, feel free to play around with those ones and then you can select the flag style as well so rounded shape will look like this and rectangular is like this basically okay so again it's just a matter of preferences now if you selected any of those languages english german spanish portuguese or taiwanese you have additional options so as you can see if you select english language do you want the us flag or the uk flag again depending where you're based you might select one or the other and the same with germany if is it from germany or from austria in portuguese the same is it from uh, portugal or is it from brazil and so on and so on okay so for spanish it could be three different locations could be spanish uh, from spain mexico or peruvian flag okay and the same with taiwan so this is really up to you as you can see the thought of everything is actually a very nice comprehensive solution isn't it and here you can basically apply some customization feature related to how it looks like as you can see you have the border radius you can change the colors and so on and so on so everything else here is pretty self-explanatory once you're done you've selected all your options all you have to do is save your settings and you're basically done and again if you go back to our front end and refresh those changes will take place you can see this is the rounded shape flag from the us with the full name of the language itself and if you click on it it will show up as a pop-up window so back to the dashboard here on the linguist.com website as you can see we've currently used 890 words out of 1.2 million words included in the trial plan so you can try this completely for free guys enjoy it and uh, take advantage of it obviously and if you like it you can always subscribe now let's address the pricing plans and as you can see it's not even expensive it starts from only 165 dollars per year up to 495 per year and this is for the unlimited plan i personally think this is the best value here you'll never run out because this is an unlimited plan and to be honest 495 us dollars for the whole year to increase your revenue and sales and make your website available in multiple languages i think this is an absolute steal and the best deal ever now you don't have to go on a yearly basis you can go on a monthly basis as you can see you can go unlimited plan for just 45 us dollars per month so clearly here you get one month for free and here it's only 45 per month again this is really up to you guys you know if you just want to start from here see how many words you're using then you can always upgrade and go to the next one up and so on and so on so there you go guys now you know everything about lingui so if you want to give it a go as always i'll leave all the links in the description below again thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one